All right, we're back in my garage, and I have the test set up, all set up for straight DC. Okay, we've just I've just uh, tested the PWM three times to um, make sure I'm getting the right results, and each time we got about a quarter of a liter in a minute, and now we're about to do straight DC. I have the measuring device set at zero again. The valve is all the way open on here. There's no pressure. This gauge is old again, so it's showing a little pressure, but it's not. There's no pressure in there whatsoever. Okay, and we're going to start the timer again as soon as I can with one hand. So here we go. We're going to get it started. Okay, we immediately get some bubbling. Okay, we're actually getting some pressure readings now with this, and we are moving up. We have approximately 50, almost 60 amps there. And let me start this timer, so we'll give it about 10 seconds now. I waited about 10 seconds, so we're going to give it about 10 second leeway. And wow, look at that. We're really getting a lot of production there. You know, we're already at half a liter, and we have pressure built up. Okay, so we're getting quite a quite a good. I don't know if you guys can see all that action. Okay, we're at 34 seconds. We're going to stop it right around 50, and see what we come up with. We're right around 60 amps. The batteries were at 13 for both tests, so we're still at 13. I'll let the batteries recover a little bit for DC, and we still have a little pressure. I'm getting a little smoking on that lead, so we're going to have to stop it soon. And we're right at 56, so we'll stop it right now. And we have just passed a liter, so we'll call that one liter because I went five seconds over. So let's stop this now. Okay. Wires are very hot. Okay, and we'll call that one liter. All right. That's that test for the straight DC, and we'll extrapolate later. Again, this is just a test setup. We're not going to run a car off of this. Um, if you want, you can figure out the wattage. Those of you who are um, stuck on wattage readings, um, it's 13 volts at approximately 50 to 60 amps. Let's say it's 55 amps, okay? And that's a test for straight DC.